So that's one type of ijara. Leasing, renting a specific thing, or employing a specific person. That's one type. The other type is, uh, we said we're going to maybe not use this word, right? What did we say last time? Independent hiring contract. Or should we go for the more literal wording of the Arabic? I'm trying to find something that's like what they say in English. So in Arabic, it's called Ijaratu Dhimma. Your Dhimma is your account. So your account is like something abstract. I'm hiring your account. Now you got to get something done for me. You don't have to do it yourself. You have to get it done for me. I'm going to look up some words. Let's look at independent contractor. You are self-employed. Okay, so now it just dawned on me. It just dawned on me that that's self-contradictory. I mean, they mean something by it, but you can't employ yourself. It's like you can't sell to yourself. How can you hire yourself? You can't do that. But that's what they call it. Self-employed. So I have to pay attention to what these words mean. The kuffar stuff is muddled. Don't take it like for granted. An agency is a business organization established to provide a particular service. To provide a service. Not that you're hiring him to do the work himself. You're hiring him to get it done, to provide a service for you. Hope you're being patient with me as I look through these words here. The difference between, they say, an agent and an independent contractor. Agents and independent contractors sell products or provide services within different legal boundaries. Agents are employees, while independent contractors are self-employed. The more I think about this, the more it bothers me. Because no matter what, if, 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 if you're employed, that means somebody hired you. So how are you going to hire yourself? Maybe Ijaratu Vimma, hiring your account, is hiring your company. Hiring an agency. So I'm going to spell it all the way out like that for now. Inshallah. You're going to have to hire, you're going to have to do a deal with someone. It's going to be an owner. You can only do a deal with an owner or an authorized person. I'm talking about now you want to do this second hiring. So who are you going to be doing your deal with? You can only do a deal with an owner or an authorized person. So that's all that matters to you. So we're hiring a company here or hiring someone who has a company, for example, because yeah, he's going to get the job done for an upfront payment. It has to be upfront. Or else it will be a debt for a debt. Because the vimma, the account that you're hiring, that is a debt. You're hiring his account. His account is a debt itself. So since you're hiring his account, you have to pay him up front. Or else it will be a debt for a debt. According to the Hanafis, one can rent or hire a confirmed future benefit in a non-Muslim land from a non-Muslim. means, according to the Hanafis, you can rent from a kafir now, yani, and start Monday, for example. You didn't start now. In the Shafi'i school, as you know, a hiring or a rental is immediate, like a sale. When you buy something, it doesn't become yours later becomes yours when you buy it at the time of the contract. A rental becomes yours at the time of the contract. According to the Hanafis, one can rent or hire a confirmed future benefit in a non-Muslim land from a non-Muslim. If one rented or hired for a known amount, not a specific item, yani, this is your salary we're talking about, your salary is a known amount and not a specific item. What does that mean? It means if I'm going to pay you 
$5,000. That's a known amount. If I'm going to pay you this heap of gold, that's a specific item. Or this barrel of wheat, that's your salary. You finish the job and take your salary. That's valid. Or a standard barrel of wheat. That's not a specific item. That's a known amount. That's valid. So you can be hired for a known amount. And then you get paid anything that fulfills that description. If one rented or hired for a known amount, not a specific item, that is valid even if he cannot pay immediately. I think that's clear. You can't pay me now, you owe me. I'll do the work and you owe me. Or I'll pay you now, you're gonna do the work when I call you. But if he did so for a specific item, if the salary was a specific item, then like a sale, then what? It must be seen. And he must be able to pay it immediately. Not that he has to pay it immediately, he has to be able to pay it immediately.